Here the first part of the build is to stick these plywood uh, spaces onto the front and the back. You choose apparently the best side, the side that you want to look at and stick these to the back. I've had to use a bit of a sanding. I use the general sander to um, smooth them up a bit. You probably won't have to do that if you've got laser cut. Um, so I'm going to glue that now. I use ordinary Loctite uh, wood glue. I know some people recommend that you use hide glue. Um, I don't use hide glue because I don't like the smell and because I'm vegetarian and also if I make a mistake and need to re-glue something I just um, cut another part out and, and, and use that instead. So let's go. The Loctite glue is suitably tacky so that you can arrange it in place and it won't move after you've pressed it into place. I'm going to clamp it between two thick sheets of, of wood so that I get a really good uh, clamp. Now, first of all I need to uh, use a wet flannel or something to clean off the bits of overflow so that when I clamp it it doesn't stick to the wood. Just do the other one now. Exactly the same process. There yeah, I've done them both now. My piece of wood over the top. And some clamps. That should do it. They recommend just put a few books on top, but that should be a little bit stronger than that. So we leave that for a couple of hours. And then, um, whilst that's drying, we'll put together or a dry fit the head. Uh, while the top and bottom are setting, I'm going to uh, do the, the head. I'm not going to glue it yet, I'm going to dry fit. Um, according to the instructions, what we need to do is first of all um, glue these bits on. So this is a double thickness, six millimeters instead of three. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet, just make sure it all lines up nicely. I won't put those on for the dry fit. Um, I just want to do the dry fit to make sure I know where everything goes. Now, the first bit to fit is this, which I've labelled part number three. I don't know what part number. And that goes with the, um, the little indent there facing forwards. And into, into those slots there. And do the same with the other side. That goes in. The next bit to fit, I think, is that one, which goes in there. Slide it in all the way down. Make sure the top lines up with the top of what I've called part number three. So that's that. And the next I had a bit of a problem with because as these two bits here, that one and that one, which according to the manual, one of them's got a slot in it. Now, 
on the SVG's um, files that were supplied, uh, neither of them has got a slot in it. So I might have to cut a slot in that, I don't know. Presumably if you bought the laser part kit, uh, those parts would be correct. I don't know whether they're supposed to have a slot or not. Anyway, I'm going to fit them. And they fit, slide into the top here. Press it in. This one slides into the top there. Press it in. Yeah. It's got a double width there because uh, normally the other side bit would be glued in position. The last piece is this which uh, slides in there make sure it slides all the way up so that there's no gap here okay now that is the the head dry fitted together and ready for gluing so I guess that's what we'll do we'll glue that I'll just have a quick check now to see if the glue on the top and the bottom um, spacer bit is glued now okay those are glued on now all looks good um, and that's the end of today's video log because it's just about tea time thank you for watching